Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to play around with Desktop Goose. Yes, I know we're Major Geeks, but I like good, silly fun like anybody else, and I thought this was kind of fun. Anyway, download it from the video description. There's a link in there, and you'll get this file right here, and you click Extract, and you can click right here and put it anywhere you want. Make sure you know where it is because there's no installer. So when it's done, you're going to need to open the folder up, call this a portable app, and click on Goose Desktop. I'll get it started now. And when you're done, click on Close Goose. You can also right click and create a shortcut so that you can have both of them over here. So basically he runs around, he makes some noises, drags stuff across your screen. He'll <laughs> he'll bring stuff in, <laughs> pictures. Um, um, <laughs> oh God, I'm so easily humored. Uh, words and, I, and I've made some changes I'm going to show you how you can do all that now see so just grab my mouse cursor and took off with it in the desktop goose folder you have assets so here's your images that he can bring I've already already deleted a few of them so I just have these two so the next one to come out will probably be the major geeks logo here he comes oh he's bringing text <laughs> not epad so um, he's coming for my cursor again. Okay, so <laughs> uh, let's go back. Now here's another cool thing. So there's your sounds. They're MP3 files. You can drag anything you want in there. And don't forget, when you see him moving around so much, I've configured that, and I'm going to show you that right now. So let's go back, and there's a config file right here. There's your mods, silent sounds. So if I wanted to stop making noise, I would just do T-R-U-E. And odds are, I think you'd have to close and restart because config files are usually loaded on startup. Can attack your mouse, which we just saw. You can just change that to false if you don't want them to do that. Oh, thanks for the advertising, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, attack randomly, false. Use custom colors. You have your default color, so you can actually change the goose color. Now, down here is what I'm talking about. This is the one that I changed. So I think the default is 20 seconds for the first wander. And I think the minimum, I don't remember what it was, 20 or 30. So you can actually have him run around in and out every five seconds. So I'm thinking of the possibilities. You've got a, a work computer where people are coming in and out, you know, a display computer, and you could have it bring in your logo and different stuff like that. But what I'm really thinking is we can mess with people. So you could change this time to, you know, quite a while. Slip it on somebody's computer, get it running. You could change the time to five minutes or ten minutes. And they'll just be sitting there, and all of a sudden, this guy pops up. And there you go. So that's how to, don't forget to save when you're done. And that's how you can modify it to stop the sound, stop how often he wanders, stop how often he goes out and pulls stuff out. Let me show you real quick, too. Where am I in the right spot? Text. So this thing he's pulling out right now, the notepad messages folder. So that is, sorry, hard to type with feet. That is probably this one. Yep, that's the one you just saw. So you could change it to anything you want. And I don't think it'll work again, as I said, unless I move it. So am goose, there you go, got geese. Let's see if we can get him to do it. So we'll do that by closing him. Hmm. <laughs> There's closed goose. Now he's gone. Just so you see that in working too. So kind of cool. And it's just fun. Just good, clean, silly fun for no good reason whatsoever. So I think you'll have a little fun with it. I don't know. Let's see if he pulls a note out for me first. There you go. And there's the one you just saw me modify. Look very cool, right? So, well, I hope you like it. It's portable. It's free. The author does accept donations. And once again, just check the download link for the video description. Over here in the bottom right corner, before he grabs my cursor, you can click the Major Geeks logo and click subscribe, which we always appreciate. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.